Hello everyone. So today in this video, we go over another problem from Lead Code. The problem name is Iceland parameter. So the problem is explaining that you are having a grid of n cross m or whatever dimensions which are given to you as a grid. Now there are different blocks in this grid. Some are water and some are land. So the brown one are the land ones and the blue one are the water one. Cool. Now what you actually have to do here is you have to find out the parameter of this ice land. So because these lands, these land blocks are connected, they connect to form somewhat an ice land. And there is only one island here. Cool. Now you have to find out the parameter, the length of this parameter of this ice land. Cool. So how you can go about this problem? So let us draw one grid. Cool. Now what you can see here is let us mark out some of the points or some of the places to be as land. Cool. So this is the Iceland we have. Now we have to tell the uh, what you can say the parameter for this ice there. Now the simplest way or the simple observation which you can make here is that if there is any edge which is lying on the boundary of this whole grid that will be added in the parameter because the parameter is this so I can use some other to actually make it more clear. So this is the parameter. So this is actually the parameter of this Iceland. Cool. So now how you can find out the parameter? What you can simply do here is that, okay, just take uh, this one. What you can simply see here is that this part is actually on the edge of this whole boundary. This is also on the edge. This is also on the edge and uh, cool. And now for all the other one, this is only considered as the parameter if the block which is connected to this is not a, uh, as you can see, not an ice land or not, not a block of land. This is water. So if this is water, then only you can consider this. So what you can see here is that for every block, okay, for every block, now let us take the, for every block, what you'll do, you will check all its four adjacent edges. This is the first edge, second edge, third edge and fourth edge. Now what you'll do here is that if the edge lies on the boundary of this whole grid, then it is considered in the parameter or for any edge, if it is sharing an edge with a, like a water, water block, then also it is considered in the parameter. If it is sharing an edge with the land, then it is not considered as a parameter. So what you will do, you will actually iterate over all the blocks. You can either use a DFS or you can directly just iterate over the whole, like what you can say the whole grid one by one because there is only one island if there are multiple islands then you have to use dfs now what you can do here is that like you can iterate over the whole grid and whenever you find out a land then check out all its edges so for this land check all its edges for this land check all its edges and then if any edge lies on the outer grid then you can consider it if any edge is sharing the edge with the water then it you have to consider it so that's the whole logic for this problem let's move on to the code part now you have to first take the input of the grid dimensions. Cool. Then for all the four dimensions, like the four directions, you can make this direction vectors X and Y. Then iterate over all the possible like blocks in this whole grid. And then for every grid point or every grid block, iterate over all the four directions. Okay. Now for every direction, what you have to do here is you can get that particular block ID. Okay. So I plus X of K, this will actually add add one minus one subtract one all of those things to that so if you're talking about this block cool then you have to see uh, this edge which is sharing between this block and this block so this block and this block okay so what you're doing here is that we'll just check that whether that particular edge is lying on the uh, <coughs> lying on the actually uh, above like boundary what you can see here is that this is the check function which is called if it is lying on the boundary, that means that R is minus one. Okay. Because if 
for this block if you are checking the above edge okay this edge will be as you can see the row number for this will be minus one because this is zero this is one this is minus one and this is also n minus one so this is n so if the row is n minus one or n which is outer bound okay so if this value goes outer bound same for c then it is on the edge so if it is on the edge then increase the parameter or else if the grid value you're looking for is sharing the edge with a uh, water so this is zero then you also increase the parameter in both of these cases only you will increase the parameter for all the four edges for every block cool and then you just have to output the parameter that's the logic for this problem if you have any doubts you can mention down I will see you next time. Thank you for coding and bye.